Well, the U.S. is pressuring Israel to end its ground war in Gaza by the end of the year. That's according to a new report from the New York Times. The report also says that National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told Israeli officials that the United States wants Israel to use elite forces to rescue the remaining hostages in Gaza, as well as hunt down and kill Hamas leaders. For more on this, let's bring in Dan Perry, managing partner at consulting and public relations firm Thunder 11. He's also the author of the Ask Questions Later newsletter. Dan spent close to a decade covering the Israeli-Palestinian conflict for the Associated Press, including as the AP's Jerusalem Bureau Chief and chaired the Jerusalem-based Foreign Press Association from 2001 until 2004. So he's the guy to talk to about this. Dan, thanks for being back with us this morning. My pleasure. We have heard in the past that Israeli leaders won't respond well to U.S. demands to curb fighting in Gaza. Will Israel cave to American pressure to wrap up fighting in Gaza by year's end, do you think? Israel can't overtly go against the U.S. Uh, that said, they also can't possibly end the war with Hamas remaining in power in Gaza. That, that it really is something that enjoys consensus in Israel. And Israel is a country that's generally very much divided on political issues. But this is a consensus. Hamas has to go. Every Israeli thinks this after what happened on October 7th. So it may be a question of, uh, you know, uh, an immovable object and an irresistible force. I don't know which will prevail. Uh, Biden needs the war to end for political reasons. I mean, Biden cannot lose Michigan. And Biden's going to have a hard time winning Michigan if the, the Muslims in Michigan turn against him. There are other states uh, in the U.S. who have bigger Muslim populations, but they aren't swing states. So it comes down to something as simple as that, basically. Um, Israel would like to do it quicker, but to end the war more quickly also probably means uh, having it be even uglier than it is to date. That is why you're hearing talk about elite forces uh, in some scenario rescuing the hostages and yeah. taking out the Hamas leadership, of course. That is easier said than done. And speaking of those elite forces, you take me to my next question, because the Biden administration also reportedly pushing Netanyahu to use those elite special forces to bring home the remaining hostages that are still being held by this terrorist group. Uh, why hasn't Israel tried that already? Is that a realistic option? It comes down to intelligence. Um, uh, I don't think they know exactly where Sinwar uh, is and exactly where all the hostages are. And the fear, of course, is that if you, if you uh, rush into a scenario with guns blazing, you kill your own hostages. That is something that has happened in the past to Israel uh, in, in conflicts against Hamas, uh, and they, they don't want to risk it, basically. It's uh, an incredibly difficult situation, genuinely, uh, a, a drama. Movies will be made about this. Uh, and uh, I, I think the Israelis are hoping that the Hamas leaders are not as suicidal as they would claim. And when... And when the knife is really at their throat, they'll give up. I suspect Israel would be willing at that point to do various deals. For example, maybe to let the Hamas leadership leave Gaza, go to Qatar or Turkey or whatever. I think Israel would be willing to probably release a lot of security prisoners. I think a name you're going to hear in coming weeks is Marwan Barghouti, who's not a Hamas leader. He was a Fatah leader from the more moderate wing. But he has been in jail for 20 years, convicted of multiple murders during the Second Intifada. Um, Despite being much more of a terrorist in the Palestinian narrative, he is a potential Mandela, uh, uniting all the Palestinian factions. And I think for the for an end to the war, for a removal of Hamas, Israel would release it. Yeah, I know. Here in uh, recent days, you know, you brought up Sinwar. I know, uh, for the first time, really, we heard a senior U.S. official say that Sinwar's days uh, are numbered. Um, we're going to be talking to the Pentagon spokesperson uh, about that in just a little bit. See if they know something that that we don't. Dan Perry, as always, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.